This is a wonderful opportunity for us to have a conversation with all of you uh, from the arts community about how we, public media, can better serve you, the arts community. Because the reason we exist is just that. It's really to improve life in our community. And so tonight is an opportunity to provide some examples of some of the work that we've done, to share with you some of the new capabilities that we have, and to really talk about things that you are planning within your arts organizations, again, ways in which we can better serve you. I commend you all on what you're doing because I think what you are doing is convening a conversation, a community conversation about arts and culture here in St. Louis. And as somebody who has not been here, you know, my whole life, I mean, I, can t I have a little bit of an outside perspective and I can tell you that just it is, it's a, it's extraordinary in the, in the richness of the assets here in arts and culture. And I think that one of the things that we need to do is really brand St. Louis and the region around arts and culture. I think there's a huge opportunity there. So I think what you are doing in terms of, again, convening that conversation is a really important part of that. We are looking at a, a public media commons between our two buildings, between uh, the Nine Network uh, building and the new UMSL uh, at Grand Center facility. And uh, as you can see, it is going to be a, a very uh, highly developed digital multimedia space. Uh, it's all here going to be bringing people into the community uh, and, and really creating a destination space in Grand Center that will just add to the incredible life that's going on here from, uh, from the Pulitzer and, and the Contemporary and all of the other great institutions here. At, at the time that the Commons is going to be completed, you are going to be staging Carmen one of the things that Opera Theater is known for is the incredible intimacy of the performance experience. It's 987 seats in our theater, which is part of the magic. Uh, but one of the things that I always regret about that, I say that our job in the world is to create beauty and community. And there's something extraordinary about people gathering for a performance. We don't want just 987 people per performance to experience this. So we're, if this all works out, and I believe it will, We'll do a simulcast in the new public media commons, uh, which fulfills a long dream of mine, which is that opera theater should be present in Grand Center. Everyone knows that Contemporary Art Museum is the place to see best of what's happening right now in the visual arts world. But what people don't know is we offer incredible education programs for teens. We decided that they're the ones that we want to focus on because they relate to our artists so well. And so they get to work with the artists that, that's internationally world-renowned who comes to St. Louis, and they work with these wonderful artists, and they learn quite a bit from them. But also the commons, what a perfect place as a venue to be able to display the artwork of your students. And for them to be able to tell their story when they create, and then to see it on large screens like that, I think it'll be a very moving experience for them. Some of you may know that we just recently opened a new digital media center that is uh, known as the Nine Center for Public Engagement. If you haven't been there, it's a great place to visit. It's the home of the St. Louis Beacon, it's the home of Nine Academy, and it's the home of many of our new digital productions here at the Nine Network. And it's up on our second floor. We're especially proud of two of the programs within that facility. One is Nine Voices, and the other is Nine Academy. Let's start talking about Nine Academy, Lauren. Okay. Um, well, Nine Academy is an opportunity for community members to come in and learn how to tell stories through video, whether they're the stories of individuals or the impact of organizations uh, in the community. We were talking earlier today about some of the arts organizations that you've already involved in this program. Yes, I've really had the opportunity to talk with a lot of the arts organizations in St. Louis, and we're very excited to engage them in a new not-for-profit class that we'll offer. Um, we already have Grand Center and the St. Louis Symphony that are gonna take it, and we really hope to include more arts organizations in the future. A lot of people can actually see some of the, the work that these students do through Nine Voices? Well, Nine Voices is a new initiative uh, here at the Nine Network where we're really empowering young people, young adults, to uh, share their innovative ideas for how to improve community life. And we want to provide them through our multimedia platforms the opportunity to not only provide a, a greater platform for them to share their ideas, but also a way to connect them with one another. We are so excited at the foundation about our newest endeavor. It's St. Louis Teen Talent Showcase. 
Uh, it's for the performing arts students in St. Louis. We invited 186 high schools to participate. Then 10 will be chosen for the finals, which is a competition, but also it's going to be choreographed into a Broadway show. It's on Friday, May 6th at the Fox Theater. It is free and open to the public. The kids are competing for scholarships, cash prizes for the schools, wonderful performing opportunities throughout St. Louis, and several other prizes. And we're going to be at the Fox with our cameras. I think it would be great if this goes out into the country and we are a model for other cities doing a St. Louis teen, a teen talent showcase. Absolutely. That's my hope. Much of the work that we've been interested in is the good journalism that goes with the arts community. Now this is a subject that's very important to many of you and especially to Emily Pulitzer, who couldn't be with us this evening. So uh, she wanted to provide some thoughts as to how important she believe journalism, arts journalism, is to a vibrant arts community. For there really to be reasons for artists to stay here, for institutions to thrive, for people to collect, you need both art galleries, commercial galleries, museums that are very active, uh, collectors, and a really informed media. And without any one of those parts, you really have a much less vital environment. And the visual arts media coverage has become um, fairly minimal. I think what's needed is really thoughtful, insightful coverage that gives the public a better understanding of the art that is visible in St. Louis. With the tight resources that everybody has, um, it has occurred to some of us that collaborating, particularly the not-for-profit media, the Beacon, KWMU, and the Nine Network, would make a great deal of sense. From where I see journalism going, I believe that right now you are seeing <laughs> the best journalism <laughs> in the nonprofit sector. I predict, I mean, that's the way it's going. And leading the charge is associate editor for the Beacon, Bob Duffy. Thanks for being here. And yes. Thank you. <laughs> we started the Beacon with the idea that the region was not getting served well by commercial media. We adopted the, the motto, uh, News That Matters, and very much a part of that has been the arts. The richness of, of, our, of our colleagues and, and neighbors, of Tim and Jack, of the, the, uh, the creation of the commons, and not just material uh, bricks and mortar creation, but a real spirit of, of understanding how much the arts mean to us in St. Louis and how, uh, how we need to, to tell each other about them and we need to tell the world about them. In January, it was our 20th anniversary of the St. Louis Arts Awards at The Chase. And um, we did a fabulous collaboration with Channel 9. Well, actually, they did all the work. Um, oh, no. and, uh, <laughs> and, and it really resulted in a wonderful one-hour primetime special that aired on 9 PBS and um, really expanded our audience for the Arts Awards. And why the Arts Awards is so important is, you know, we really have space for about 500, 600 guests. And it is award ceremony, but it really is um, performance, too. And so the, the, um, the production really allowed us to share with the broader um, community just how fabulous our arts organizations are and all the institutions and all the people that really work in the arts, the arts educators um, who do all this good work every year and it's just our one opportunity year to, to honor them all. I get to talk about the economic impact of the arts. Uh, the arts account for 8,000 full-time jobs and when you add the secondary jobs that we create it's almost 15,000 FTE jobs in our region. Um, our economic impact in sheer dollars is about 460 million. And the, the fun thing that I like to say is um, our audiences among all the arts in St. Louis City and County number above 11 million. 
the combined audiences for the St. Louis Rams, St. Louis Cardinals, and the Blues is just under five million. And the way I, I just, I have so much um, admiration for what Nine Network is doing and in becoming our partners. That's what we're, we're looking um, to our friends at Nine Network to help us do is how, how do we promote this? It's the most important thing that I think that we're looking at in the future is citizen engagement. And that's what I love about what you guys are doing and what we're all really trying to learn is, is how do we engage our customers. You know, I think it's no longer enough just to sell them a season ticket or to get them into the gallery. So I'm very excited about this evening. I'm really excited about what you're doing. It's, it's great. Finally, we'd like to uh, recognize our sponsor for this evening and one of those who support our presentation of the arts here at the Nine Network, and that's PNC Bank. And Rick Sims has joined us this evening. Hi, Rick. Thanks, sir. Your program, PNC Arts Alive, has been a program that uh, you have undertaken here in the community, and possibly you could tell us just a little bit about it. Sure. PNC Arts Alive is a two-year program that we put together where we want to deploy uh, $1 million uh, over the two-year period for uh, arts, visual, and performing arts here in St. Louis. And we're giving grants of minimum of $20,000. Well, I know that we're all very thrilled for the arts community to have you here, your support of the arts. It comes at an especially important time when the resources are constrained by many of the arts organizations, and so PNC supporting the arts is something I know the entire community appreciates. So thanks, Rick, for Thank you. all you're doing. So that's the beginning of the conversation, hopefully. Uh, some possibilities, uh, some aspirations, uh, some ways that all of us in public media can work with you, how we can best serve you, and how we can best serve our, our community. Please feel free to have conversations with us um, our staff here at the Nine Network, and truly, we're interested in working with you to really take the wonderful arts that we have in our community to not only our community here, but to the nation and to the world. Thanks so much for all that you do for our community. And thanks for being with us this evening.